Sign up today. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the fantastic Friday, the May Day, the May 1st edition of today's Trader's Edge show. It's absolutely great to be with you, folks. Hope you're having a great day. And if you're not, well, why not? It's easy to. The easy formula is always to know that life is happening for us, not to us. You know what that means? It just means we have to reframe things out there. We've just got to learn to reframe things. So life is happening for us. Now, look, it's absolutely great to be with you here. And I've just changed up the opening here. Uh, but we've got a lot to get to with these uh, markets. They're all trading lower and lots of information to be able to pass on to you. But uh, I want you to know that, and I am grateful for your presence here, absolutely. But more important than that, during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, well, we've got you covered there. Do it early, which is let those fingers do the walking. Send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question in our Tigers Den. Well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on fabulous, fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. We begin the show with uh, all the markets trading to the downside, a couple percent or more. You've got the uh, semis that are off nearly 5%, down 82 points. The Dow is off 2 and 3 tenths percent, 576 points. The S&P 80, the NASDAQ 100, 273. Of course, it's all uh, the key is what is it trading into or is it trading into anything just yet? We're going to go take a look at that. We take a look at the uh, spot volatility index up 13 percent, up four dollars and forty nine cents, trading at thirty eight sixty four, still below its fifty day exponential moving average. Uh, gold is up nine bucks, silver's up four pennies. Light speed crude is trading up seventy six cents, trading out at nineteen sixty. Natural gas back uh, four cents, and uh, treasury bonds basically flat. The thirty years down four ticks, leading the charge dollar wise to the upside. Mercado Libre up fifteen bucks. Seattle Genetics up eleven or eight percent. Charter Communications, 10 bucks, 2%. To the downside, Amazon up 188 bucks. That's over 7%. Tesla down 68, over 8%. Booking Holdings about 3%, 43 bucks to the downside. Google is off 30 bucks. So uh, let's begin by taking a look at the general markets out here. I'll go ahead and start with the 30 minute. Uh, Peter had asked for that. Uh, John uh, was also noticing that the 30 minute has a uh, TD sequential buy, I believe, or maybe just the pattern out there, maybe not a confirmation. But what we can also look at out here on the 30 minute time frame, we can see that price is pushing lower, doing a less relative energy. Now, that last bodied candle at one o'clock gets a very, very small body out there. So it doesn't take much to generate a bullish reversal candle by 130. Of course, you need to see a couple of ticks to the upside. But what's really going to be key out here, Peter and everybody else, isn't the 30 minute profile right now. It's going to be Stevie's red line. Price must first clear that before the profiles will come into play. So you need to see a bullish reversal candle. And this would just be for some type of intraday counter trend rally. Then it closed above 28.24 right now. That number is going to change a bit, but that's your basic ballpark. And then that gives you a potential setup or a run to 28.35, the bottom of that bullish structured profile. Now, what we all know is if there's a counter trend rally, and it's going to stop when you've broken through a bullish structured profile. Remember, it doesn't matter what time frame it is that we use out here. The counter trend rally would typically stop around the center of that profile. So your range is going to be 2835 to 2838. Should there be any bounce right now? We don't have any kind of confirmation that that's what's taking place. But this is the pattern that is set up inside of the ES mini. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. 
Hopefully that helps you out, Peter. Let's take a look at the NQ because this is an area that we do want to focus in on. If we take a look at its 30-minute time frame as well, we're going to see the price also pushing lower, doing it so with less relative energy out there. Uh, it too needs to generate some type of bullish reversal candle. And in its case here, 87.30, we'll call it probably is the is Stevie's red line area on any kind of move up. That's where the, e, uh, the NQ would need to close above to then suggest a bounce to 87.72 the bottom of its new profile. So that profile, um, that would be the, the level of resistance that I would be looking for. No confirmation at, at this stage of the game, at 111, that any kind of counter trend or intraday rally session is going to unfold at this stage. But the patterns are set up there. The question is, what can the uh, bulls do from a candle standpoint as we come into the uh, 130 time frame? And then we'll obviously have to take a look at that on a uh, um, we'll have to take a look at coming into the uh, 2 p.m. But let's take a note. Why did I say the NQ is one of the areas that we need to uh, take a look at? The reason that I said that is because what we're trying to determine today is, so if we take a look at the NQ, let me open up the daily time frame chart. What you're going to see when you take a look at this chart out here is you're not going to see any type of topping signal. You can see that uh, yesterday price made the 1 to 1.272 A to B equals CD pattern. We can also see that Stevie's green line or red line but it's green right now, is the level that the NQ is testing. It's basically about 8705, I think. We're trading at 87.04.75. We're trading at 87.04 right, or 87.05 right now. You can see it if you're watching us on Tiger TV. Now, one of the reasons that I developed this tool, I don't know if you've ever you know, had this situation, but I just wasn't able to easily determine was a retracement just a retracement and nothing more than that, or was it something more than that? And that's really what this oscillator and change line, it, it does a number of things. But that's one of the one of the one of the aspects about it and how we use it. Now, even if price trades below it a bit during the day, that doesn't matter. It's a daily time frame chart. It's all going to be about the close. It's just like the candle session. It's all about the close. We can call something a candle right now at 113 in the afternoon, bullish, bearish, whatever it might be, but it doesn't really matter until the last tick trades out there. So we want to watch this. What the NQ is doing, it's trading back to a potential level of support. Potential because I don't know if it's going to hold or not. But that's the reason to go take a look at the shorter term time frame, such as that 30 minute, to say, hey, are you trying to form some type of bottom? Now, whether it's now, whether it's at 132, 230, will be telling. Now, if the NQ closes below this level, of course, you know Stevie's two-day rule out there, but we'll just stick with the one day at this stage. So price right now, no topping pattern that has um, formed out here because of my strict criteria. That strict type criteria came from not just me wanting to pull something out of my arse, it came from protecting my assets. And I'm here to help you protect your assets as well because I used to sell every D point or buy every D point that was moving lower. And that's how you get your arse handed to you, and you don't want to do that. So what we know about the NQ right now, which is the lead dog, this can help to lead things down. A close below Stevie's green line, certainly two days in a row, we'll go ahead and set up a move to 75.35. However, however, Lee Corso is in the house right now, and he's saying, not so fast, Stevo. Why would Lee Corso say not so fast, Stevo? Jay will appreciate this, and that is because, isn't it great I just get to sit here and talk to myself? Uh, is uh, Well, we'll have to do this when we get back to the break. I'm going to have to leave you with bated breath, but I gave you a clue. I said Jay in the Tiger's Den. I don't know if he's in the Tiger's Den or not, but he will love this next chart or set of charts that we look at. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. TFNN is launching an open house for our Tiger's Den. For a limited time, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Tiger's Den. Just enter promo code OPEN at checkout and pay nothing for 30 days while you try out your Tiger's Den membership as part of our open house. With market volatility at an all-time high and people all over the world working from home if possible, TFNN is hosting an open house in our Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is an interactive chat room that runs all day where other tigers and tigresses discuss trading ideas with the hosts and members along with charts and current market news as well as live access to the charts the hosts use during their programs join us for the tiger's den open house begin your den membership today by just entering open at checkout and pay nothing while you try things out for 30 days for all the details and to start your den membership today visit the front page of tfnn.com don't miss out on the tfnn tiger's den open house taking place now sign up today Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we take a look at that daily NQ chart again. Uh, what you're going to see out here on this chart, you're not going to see the market profiles, which we'll switch to in a moment. But it closed below Stevie's green line today. It's 87.05. On this chart here, would suggest to move back to where the NQ had broken out, and that's at the 75.35 level out here. Now, when uh, I talk about the markets going back to the now here, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to that or I'll try to remember to come back to that. Now here, uh, this is what Jay likes, which is and, and, and everybody else out there, too. Uh, we like to understand where, you know, where's the game? Where are buyers and sellers sitting? So last night, just as the market had opened back up, uh, there were new profiles that formed for each of the equity futures contracts. Now, when I say new, they're potentially new. I'm using my advanced uh, Doppler tool out here and um, and they're always subject to a change or, or reformulate out here. I, I can't recall. It, it's possible that the Russell 2000 has reformulated itself since this morning. The others are pretty stable. So, Jay, I'll know this evening um, or certainly Sunday night if these profiles are going to hold. But but they are real, even though it's an advanced tool out here. They're absolutely real with regard to where buyers and sellers are sitting. And we can see, and I had posted in the den, that right now, what, what each of us know is at that center line, that is where we have both buyers and sellers. So you can see there's a big party going on. The party at the center of the profile, that's where the ES Mini is trading at. And same inside the NQ, just slightly below it. Same for the Dow Equity Future contract out here. Now, the Russell 2000... The Russell 2000, I can't tell you RY out there. If I if I did, then I'd I'd have to kill you, kind of a thing. It's a special tool that that I that I have developed out here, uh, for this for 
for this specific software application. So it's it's just it's it's just a specialized tool that um, that I've got, and and it's really nice how the way that it works because it it gives us the advanced warning. Um, that uh, that this profile is attempting to form. So at least this way, and especially like intraday out here. Now, let me show you the reason why understanding these profiles are so helpful to us. But first, you've got the profile levels out here. So let me give you those. So unlike uh, my, so I can't say that the NQ is going to go back to its breakout level until the bottom of a profile is broken. Been to close below it. So inside the ES mini out here, you're looking at 2766. You're looking at 8548 inside the NQ, 23012 inside the Dow, and the uh, Russell 2000 1194. Now it is a bullish structured profile. The ES mini is all uh, actually the NQ is bullish in structure, so it should be strong support. Don't know whether it will be or not, but should be strong support. But those would be the areas before we start looking at prices coming back to those breakout levels. Now, in the case of the Dow, as an example, whereas the, the NQ had a TD9 count, and I believe the others do, the Dow doesn't. So if the Dow closes below Stevie's red line, it's not there just yet. So where the NQ is, is testing, the Dow is not. 23,346 is the number here on the Dow Equity Futures contract. You're not going to see a TD9 count out here. And this just says, okay, so where's the breakout level? Well, that's where we start getting back into the monthly time frame charts or the weekly time frame charts out here, which gets us back beyond the actual lows that we're taking a look at. That's how the Dow gets through and blasts through the lows. Now, there's another level that the Dow is going to have to close below in order to give us that signal. That's going to be below the bottom of a profile. We don't know if this one's going to form. It may be the one that's already in place that's out there, but Right now, it looks like there's a new one, and it's going to be the 23012 level. Now, what, let me show you Excuse me, why these profiles are so important. We're just going to take a look at the ES Mini. And on this chart here, just using a line-based chart, so we're just looking at closing prices, which really is all about the close, most certainly when we're taking a look at profiles out here. So I want to show you, in, in, in when markets are moving higher, so let me just pull this back out here. Now, the, the red lines are the bottom of the profile. The green lines are the top of the profile. And in a bullish market, so coming off of the uh, December 18 areas out here, you can see that price never closes below the bottom of a current profile. Right here where my cursor's at, there was a prior profile out here that a new profile forms. Price gets above that. And you can see all of these daily profiles here holding until when? Until about the trading day of May 8th, 2019, nearly a year ago. It's always interesting, that sell in May thing. And, you know, so we've got maybe a little bit of that out here. Uh, now, if you go back to that time period, April 30th was a bit of a high, then a move lower for a couple of days out there into uh, May the uh, 2nd, then one move higher into May 3rd before it kind of gave it up. But here was the important thing. You see, once price closed below the bottom of a box, it gave you a change in trend signal. Now, this created a Gartley buy pattern. We can see the A to B equals CD pattern out here into the lows of June of 2019. Price continues to move up. It's not until you close below the bottom of the box that you know you've got some type of change in trend in something else that's going on. You got that? It's easy. If we take a look at what transpired here uh, this year, if we take a look, it was on the trading day of, let me move over, the trading day looks like a February 24th when we finally saw a close below the bottom of a profile. That went ahead and sent the cascade down uh, to the uh, bottom that we currently saw. So now, how do you put this together? So if you're intermediate term, trader out there the the real prepare for winter comes if you see a close below the bottom of this new profile 2766 or whatever the number might be so you'll have to check back in with me on on monday or subscribe to the newsletter service and you'll see what those are over the weekend or on monday mornings a uh, newsletter out here but if you just take so this is how the profiles work this is why they're so key this is why when uh, somebody calls in or we're or through the den or what have you and we're taking look sends an email and we're looking at an instrument we're really always trying to understand where support and resistance that's like the very first thing and we want to do it in a very objective fashion out here that we can use time and time again so that we're standard and you and i aren't making we're not making decisions. We're letting the market make the decisions 
for us. Now, we're going to change over here to the uh, and Well, there's there's nothing that's testing the bottom of a profile right now. So there's no reason for me to go switch and take a look at uh, something else out there. But th but that's the use of, of really putting all of these different tools together out there. So that I, I hope that that helps you out, whoever you are. Uh, but let me go. We do have a couple of questions that have come in. So before I uh, just, uh, you know, continue babbling for some reason out here. Uh, let me get to these uh, questions. So the first one coming in from Jared. Jared writes, uh, hello, Steve, looking forward to your show today. Well, great, as I do every day. That's nice. Um, in a newsletter this morning, you thought the Russell could be testing 1254 as a daily level of support. Um, do you see the markets building cause to trend lower or just test on a daily basis? Thanks for all your fascinating insight. Uh, here's a reminder, look at Harmony. Oh, okay, great. Okay, so we're going to go look at Harmony Gold as well. Um, let me uh, get a couple of things going out here on my uh, uh, charts. Okay, so the Russell 2000. Let's come back and take a look at the profiles. Now, Jared, it's possible that these profiles have shifted intraday out here, um, as opposed to pulling up my newsletter and finding out, here's what I want to be able to share with you. 1254 was the top of the daily profile out there. The center is 1214, and the bottom is now 1194. Just based on the work that we just did and take a look at the ES Mini, the change in trend signal for the Russell 2000 will be a close below the bottom of that box out there. If in fact it is 1194, that's what it is right now. So I hope that helps you out. When we come back, we'll go take a look at Harmony Gold with Steve Roger, TFNN. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed 
designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. And Dow down 603, S&P up 85. No bullish reversal candle on those 30-minute uh, time frame charts out there. So got to wait to see what transpires uh, this uh, half hour, the 2 p.m. session. So no no type of counter trend rally bottom signal here. Just yet. I do want to go back to the Russell 2000 because uh, this is interesting uh, for you, Jared, or anybody else. And so remember, the bottom of that new profile that we're looking at is in that 1213 area, I believe, 1213, 1214, which right now is lining up with the uh, Stevie's red line out here. It's at 1214. So that would appear. And so you, you can see the three drive to a top, really a perfect textbook, three drive to a top pattern. Uh, all these patterns, according to the way that I use these patterns, require bullish or bearish reversal candles. We got that yesterday inside the Russell 2000 out here. And inside the Russell 2000, much like the equity future contract, much like the Dow equity future contract, you can see that once price would close below Stevie's red line, which is also approximately where the bottom of its daily profile is. If we see that out here, Jared, to answer your question, this suggests, okay, you're headed all the way back to those March lows, and very likely you're going to take those out and take those out in a fairly significant way out there. So that's what's going on inside the Russell 2000. You wanted me to take a look at Harmony Gold, so let's go do that as well. Uh, HMI, folks, is the uh, ticker symbol. And as we change over to our daily, weekly, monthly time frame, here's what we notice. We notice that price is above the uh, daily profile. This is a profile that formed a few days ago. And when profiles form below price, that is a bullish message out here. So before I even go any further in looking at the chart, if just from a profile standpoint, and this is so we're just going to standardize on this one tool for this black background chart. If that's a bullish message, then where's price targeting? Well, price would go target the top of its bullish structured weekly profile, which is 426. Now, our eyes can also gravitate over to the monthly time frame. We are just beginning a new month out here. And what we can see is price is now above the top of that monthly profile. Now, price has been above the top of the monthly profile for about the last six months out there. And by month's end, price gets back inside there. So that may be something to uh, think about or consider. Maybe this is just a breakout altogether. You won't know that until you see 426. But it does look like that price is headed to 426. Now, we're going to bring over Steve's other charts because they may show us some other different elements out here. So we take a look at the daily time frame. What we're going to see is that what Harmony Gold is doing, it's taking on a very key level out here. It's breakdown here, which is 271. Now, even though on this, this tool here, this set of charts, I can't draw in the A to B equals CD pattern, we can clearly see the A to B equals CD pattern. And it gave us a sell the D signal out here. And it did that on April 28th when it generated that bearish engulfing candle. So Jared, not until that high is taken out, where quite frankly, it's going to be the high of April 25th, because on a bearish engulfing candle, it's the high of all of the candles out there. And that says you've got to get a close above 384 to negate the Gartley sell pattern that is in play out here. So 384 is going to be a key number for you. If you can get a close above that on a daily basis, then you're off to the races back to the top of that weekly profile. We can also see here that Stevie's red line did turn green and we still haven't seen the test of that level out there. So if price does not close above the top of that Gartley sell pattern, this is telling you that we may see that test and I don't know if it'll be a test and rejection that would be the bullish case and a close underneath it would say you would then be tracing retracing back to other support levels in this case here the daily profile levels 306 294 and 283 so that's what I see when I take a look at Harmony Gold on the weekly time frame I don't have anything uh, negative out here at all on the monthly time frame I don't have anything negative Either we, we just took a look at price trading above the top. So it's really going to be the daily, and it's going to be very easy for you to understand what it's going to do. You've got to see a close on a daily basis above 384. 
Otherwise, this is subject to trading sideways, pulling back, or it does have a topping pattern that is in play, but no level of support has been broken. So no reason to jettison the position unless you, and I'm not speaking to Jared, unless unless you actually think you know where price is going. And I don't have any other tools other than this to tell you what's going to happen next out there. So I hope that that helps you out. Thanks for uh, thanks for being patient on Harmony. I know you had written in yesterday, and uh, when we got to towards the end of the day, we just couldn't finish it off. The next question coming in here from uh, Dave, Dave W. Dave, the dancing Dave, I like that. He says, hey, Steve, I was looking to get into crude oil for several months or so. I was thinking of WTI. Oh, you're not thinking of a WTI is the name of a company which engages in oil and natural gas. So let's go take a look at it. Um, WTI, which uh, does does also stand for West Texas uh, crude out here. Uh, what we are looking at, this is W&T offshore trading at two dollars and fifty six cents above the top of a daily profile that formed below price bullish. Trading above the top of its weekly profile, 237. So profile-wise out here, Dave, this is suggesting a run up into about the 401 area. 401 would be, or really 428, the center of its monthly profile. We're not going to go there, though, just yet. Uh, we're going to, um, because this, you know, this this has a Gartley sell pattern, too. It looks like this, Dave. Let's put the... Uh, a point out here is on the trading day of uh, March 18th. B point is the next day at the high. Uh, and really, I've got to use, to, to truly do this properly, I have to use the low of that point. Let me see if this tool will let me do that. Yeah, it does. So this had made a 1 to 2, A to B equals CD pattern. You've got your bearish reversal candle out here. Um, but so you've got a bearish pattern and you've got a bullish pattern. You've got a bullish pattern from the standpoint of where profiles had formed. But you're looking to get into it. So if you're looking to get into it, you're looking for some type of a, a pullback out here. Let me pull over my other chart, see what other things that we might be able to find out here. Here we can see, uh, Dave, that uh, my oscillator and change line changed from uh, red to green today. So what we know here is that we should see price and that level catch up to each other. That level is about 235. The top of the daily profile is about 230. You're trading at 256. So to the extent that you're looking to get into this, which you are, I would wait for price to pull back into that level, preferably on some lighter volume out there. But that's what I would be looking at on the uh, daily time frame. The weekly time frame, let me see if there's any signal out here, any additional signal for us. Made a TD9 count bottom. That's what it did back in uh, March out here, and it's trading above the top of the profile. So it makes all the sense in the world what you're looking at from a trade standpoint out here, and that is with the uh, ticker symbol WTI. So thanks for writing in. I hope that that uh, helps you out. Let's see here. No other questions by email. Let me take a quick peek and see if there were some questions inside the den. I think there were. Mike K wanted to take a look at PPLT, PPLT. So let's go take a look. at That is the ETF for platinum, if I am not mistaken. And Mike is long and wanting to add. So when we pull this up here, uh, we're looking for some type of uh, topping signal. Do we see anything? You know, we don't. We had a TD nine count top, it looks like, back on the trading of April 17th. And this just simply turned into pulling back and testing support. That was Stevie's red line out there. See that, Mike? See how that red and green line, it's that oscillator and change line? This is where the question always is. This is where the question I had always had. Hey, is this just a retracement? And if it's a retracement, back to support, how do I figure out where support is? And you see it. Now, in this case here, when it pulled back, it was both to the bottom of its profile as well as its oscillator and change line. But just trading sideways out here. So where's the next level to add? You're basically about there right now, 70.99 if you wanted to get exact. You almost got down to that level this morning. You're up above the top of that daily profile out here. Um, is if, and if price can get above the recent highs, you're looking at a move up into the 83.39 level out there. Uh, no indication that it can't, but if price did close below 70.99, then your buy area would be 68.05. So take a look at that move. Take a look at this day out here, April 22nd. You gotta love this, Mike. Not only does you, do you get the TD9 count top, then you get the pull back to Stevie's red line. Oh, we'll be right back. If you are in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from 30000 to 75000 
The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Oh, sorry about that. As we're going into the uh, break, I have my uh, clock covered up, but uh, thank goodness the uh, guys in the uh, control room uh, turned up the volume so I knew what was going on. Hey, I wanted to come back to that PPLT because it's really important. So the underlying instrument, I'm assuming at this stage, you're going to have to look at, look this up, but I'm assuming that the, the only instrument inside there is the uh, current contract for Platinum, which is July out here. And here's where the real problem is now that we take a look at the underlying instrument, Mike. If you look at uh, last week, the week before and now this week, you can see how price really tried to uh, get above the top of that weekly profile at 791, and it hasn't been able to. And you know what they say, if you can't bust them up, you may try to bust them down. So be careful here. Now, at this stage of the game, you don't have any signal that it's going to bust them down because price is trading above the top of that daily profile. So the level you're really going to be watching, not in PPLT, but in the Platinum Futures contracts, is going to be 766.6. Any close below that on a daily basis would suggest that price is going to move back to the bottom of that profile. And that's 730.70 out there. Not that you need to sell, not that you need to short, I'm not saying short it or anything, but that would be a level of, of support out there. So that's what I'd be watching, the underlying instrument. I think it makes it really clear for us. So hopefully that uh, helps you out. Uh, Jerry in Boston wanted to take a look at uh, the XLE, and Jerry's question is, is the XLE a uh, short? So let's go ahead and put up the XLE. Let's do it like we do all of our instruments. Let's put up the three different time frames out here, daily, weekly, and uh, monthly. So when we take a look at the uh, daily time frame out here, uh, Jerry, what we can see is that the price is still trading above the top of its daily profile out there. 
The top of that profile is 3472. The bottom is 3181 and the center is at 3355. So this would work really, Jerry, the same way as that ES mini chart that we took a look at to try to understand whether there's a change in trend. So you're asking, is this a short? And it may be, we'll pull up the charts to take a look at that. But then you've got to do the reward risk. None of us know whether support will fail or not. I can answer the question, is it a short? Then you've got to be able to answer the question, is it worth the reward risk? And you're trading above resistance, which is now support at this stage, 3472. And that would be the first potential level of support out here. Now, when we look at the weekly time frame, we can see that in essence, if it closed right here right now, price ran right in the top of that box. The top of the box is 3589. You're trading at 3587 as we speak. So closing below 3589 out here today, uh, says, okay, this may be just consolidating sideways. Maybe that's the end of the counter trend move. Those would really be the two interpretations. Boy, if it closes above 3589 out there, that in essence would be a bullish signal inside the energy sector. And on the daily time frame, with price trading above the top of its profile out there, that's a bullish meaning out here. So you kind of get the gist. Now let's pull over the chart and see if there's some type of pattern that formed out here. Uh, is there a Gartley sell pattern? Or something else. Well, lo and behold, we don't really have a Gartley sell pattern. You and I would have to be so liberal to do that. I'm not referring to your political persuasion. I'm talking about liberal with regard to the one to one A to B equals CD to the upside for a Gartley sell is 44.23 or thereabouts. We've only been up to about 38 bucks out here. So you can see the A to B equals CD pattern that is still potentially going on out here. Prices above the profiles for daily. Prices above Stevie's red line out here. Um, is it a short? Did we get a sell signal? And the answer is we did. We have a TD9 count. Today will be bar number nine as long as price closes above bar number five. That close is 35.38. Now, if price doesn't close above, uh, uh, price closes below, uh, I'm sorry, did I say, I meant 35.62. 35.62. No, close, 3537. Whew. Hello, close, Steve, look at close, 3537. 3537 is the uh, number out there. Price closes below that, well, then we won't even have a TD9 count out here. So is there a topping signal? Yes. Should you go short out here? That would be a tough one. That would be a tough one for me to say, yes, you should go short the energy sector out here. You really got to take a look at breaking some level of support. And we just don't have that. We just have resistance, in essence, holding at this stage of the game on the weekly basis. So, uh, Jerry, thanks for uh, thanks for the request. It was a request by phone out there. And I hope that that uh, helps you out. Now, I'm going to check to see if there are any other requests that came in on the in the Tiger's Den. Um that's where I got in trouble last time because it covers up all the rest of my screens out here. I don't see anything, but uh, if somebody had a request, I did not do TLT, so we can do that. So G7 want to take a look at uh, TLT out here. And I think either side of that trade, well, let me go back and take a look at the chart, see if there's anything that is updated before I say that. If we take a look at TLT, yeah, either side of this trade, I don't see anything in it. I don't see anything in it to win it. What the heck is Steve-O saying? Look, here's what we know about the treasuries right now, the 30-year treasury out here, which basically, I'm not looking at the TLT. We're looking at, in essence, the underlying instrument, so to speak. It's not just the 30-year treasury. There's all kinds of long-term dated bonds uh, with different uh, rollovers going on. But we use the 30-year uh, treasury, in essence, to gauge what the TLT or the TBT is doing. And what you can see, price in dollars out here, you just see a sideways consolidation. Now, it's a fairly decent sized consolidation. Maybe the bottom's around 177 and the top is at the 182 and uh, say 183 out there. So I just don't see a lot. Now, we can see that price is trading slightly lower in terms of dollars, lower in terms of euros, slightly lower in terms of yen higher in terms of pounds. So G7, what you don't have out here with regard to traders around the globe, they're not each looking at this and seeing selling going on. Quite to the contrary out here with regard to what's going on in the 30-year treasury. The other thing, and I'll say gigantic important factor out here, gigantic important factor. We talked about it briefly yesterday when somebody had called, or not called, maybe they had sent in a request to ask me to take like a GBTC, and that's the Bitcoin trust out there. And uh, when they when they did that, what I what I shared with them is I said I shared with them, hey, be careful. 
be very careful with regard to Bitcoin. Why? All you have to do is go do the reading. You can you can do the search the the searching yourself. You can go see uh, what Christine Lagarde has said in the past. You can take a look at the new IMF. Uh, a person uh, that is there. But what you're going to find out is that what they're trying to do over in Europe is to eliminate the euro as a paper currency. And they'll call it the digital euro. Uh, and that's going to scare the... And if they do that, if they move to a digital currency out here, um, the the there's no way they're going to allow these other digital currencies to survive. Just ain't no way. And they can do it in a heartbeat. Shoot. They just, the governments around the world, forced us somehow to lock ourselves down. But we're going to rise up out here because this has now gotten to be insane. You want to know how insane it is? I live here in Palm Beach County. And the governor, I don't know who did it. I don't know if it's the mayor, if it was the uh, governor or what have you. You know what they opened up today? They opened up community pools. You know what's still closed today? The beach. Now, granted, uh, I don't recall the uh, gentleman uh, who's in the infectious disease uh, area for the army or the military out here, but came out and said that the coronavirus can't can't doesn't last in the sun for more than five minutes. A community pool. So my private club, they're going to open it up somehow and do spacing at the community, you know, at, the, at their pool. But you, you can't. It's on, the, it's on the beach. You can't go into the ocean. These folks have gotten nuts so out here. Anyways, we'll come back to the treasuries in just a moment. We'll be right back. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, JDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated traded fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN.
Welcome back, uh, folks. So where I was going with that uh, with that little dialogue there here on this chart here, this set of charts that we're looking at is is the euro and their major cross uh, cross rate currency. So on the very left hand panel, we've got the euro U.S. dollar. Next to that, the euro pound. Next to that, the euro yen. Next to that, the euro Swiss franc out there. And what I'm watching for out here are some cracks in the armor. Um, you know, what we're really seeing right now is I look at this is just at these charts here, just a little counter trend rally uh, that is underway. And the reason so where I was really going with that G7 is you've got to be careful because really the next shoe to drop out here, it could I mean, there's a lot of shoes that could drop, but you certainly want to be watching what's going on overseas because uh, because the more that people understand, that's where the hoarding of dollars is. So uh, I read a report that 70 percent of uh, the hundred dollar bills or U.S. dollars, period, um, are sitting overseas. They're, they're, they're being hoarded. People want to have that uh, currency. And they, they don't want to give up their rights to their local currency, for sure. But if things start to go crazy out here, you're going to see Treasury, you're gonna, I think you're going to see people move into the uh, U.S. and whether it's a dollar, whether it's a uh, 30-year treasuries, whether it's stocks, it'll be some forms out there. So uh, in any event, that, that's really what I was getting to. Let's go to our last question. This came in from Hector. And and the patty, the fuel injectors out there. And his question was to take a look at the semiconductor index. Now, the semiconductor index may be giving us the biggest message period out here. I know you wanted me to look at a 30-minute chart. But really what you want to do, Hector, is you want to take a look at uh, this daily time frame chart. Here what you're going to see is a nice Gartley cell pattern out here. This formed yesterday with the bear sash candle. That also happened to get up to wave number 7. That is letter uh, G on my screen out here. And you can see that price had gapped down. To Stevie's green line that was 1679. This is a clear break of that. So what if you want to understand where the semiconductor index is headed to, it's headed back to its breakout support level. And that is at 1508.74 Hector. So boy, folks, uh, time really flies. Always been great, uh, a great week. Great to be with you. Thanks for all the questions in the den, everything by email, all the questions by phone and uh, be safe out there. And um, I don't know. Don't listen to our politicians. What do they know? Let's fire them all. Let's fire them all. Let's put them on unemployment and we'll send them a check for a thousand bucks. See how they like that. Take care, folks.